Let's make the Fibonacci sequence unforgettable for you. First, let's import Fib... <laughs> of course, I'm just joking. Let's not import any libraries for this one. So, in a Fibonacci sequence, every number is the sum of the previous two numbers of the sequence. And that's literally all there is to it. First, let's decide on the number of terms we want in the sequence. So, for our current case, we will take 10. Of course, you can take input from the user and validate it, but let's skip that for understanding's sake. Since we need the sum of two numbers, to find the next one, we start with 0 and 1. Let's call it A and B. So the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence is already done. So let's directly print it. So we need to keep calculating the sum of the latest two numbers of the sequence as it grows. So let's create a for loop. Note that here I'm using n minus 2 since we already have the first two numbers always. In each iteration, we add A to B to create the next number of the sequence which is stored in C. Then C is printed. Since in each iteration we need the latest values, we assign A to the current value of B and B to the current value of C. Thus A and B are always keeping track of the latest two elements of the sequence. In such a way, it keeps printing the new element from the sum of the last two elements. There you have it, you've mastered implementing the Fibonacci sequence.